Hey guys, so this is a very quick video uh, to talk about AMD next generation of chipset and motherboards, the X570. They are a big deal, biggest deal I've seen in a few years. For the past three decades, AMD has always been in the underdog section of the market, um, you know, proposing very good products, but with less performances and, and much cheaper than what Intel would propose logically. But that is about to change. On the 7th of July, we are going to see about 30 or 40 X570 powered motherboard released onto the market to support uh, the newest and latest Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. And this is the biggest leap forward that I've seen since the 486 to the Pentium back in the mid 90s. Actually, that's my opinion. And, and we're gonna go uh, through the three different points and the three different main features that the X570 will bring to us and how it's gonna change our gaming and workflow and all that. First and foremost, X570 powered motherboards will come with the fourth generation of PCIe Expresses, which brings double the bandwidth of our current third generation of PCIe Expresses. In a nutshell, PCIe Expresses governs uh, all your bandwidth hangry components, such as your video card, obviously, but also your storage devices, and in particular, M.2 solid state drives. The more PCIe lanes you got, the more components your motherboard can support, and the greater the bandwidth, the faster they can operate. PCIe 3 uh, would give us about 8 GT transfer, meaning one gigabyte, about one gigabyte per uh, bus speed. That translates into 16 gigabyte per second maximum for a 16 full bus speed. This is the greatest you can find on any uh, given motherboard today. PCIe 4.0 double this, as I said previously, to 16 GT transfer, meaning about 2 gigabyte per bus lane for a total of almost 32 gigabyte per second of transfer rate on a 16 lane, 16 slot PCIe Express. That is a lot. Of course, I can already hear the critics telling me that no video cards today uh, uh, can max out the available bandwidth on the 16 lane third generation PCIe Expresses, but we're getting very close to it and the next generation of video cards will be able to take full advantage of our uh, uh, of our 4.0 PCI Express is also having greater bandwidth per lane give us uh, the opportunity to have better multi-video cards uh, support which might be really interesting for heavy gamers but specifically uh, workstation and renderers. Now our M.2 solid state drive which right now are running at about a maximum of 32 gigabit per second well, obviously we will be able to double this uh, bandwidth transfer at about 60 to 64 gigabit per second on paper. And actually, Gigabyte has just teased uh, its next generation of PCIe 4.0 enabled M.2 solid state drive, which uh, will be able to transfer at least at 50 gigabit per second. So this is a gigantic move forward, a real improvement, which will impact all the aspects of our performances on our build. And, and if you couple this with uh, superior video cards, well, this is a complete different machine altogether. The second uh, upgrade that the X570 chipset brings to us is the USB 3.2 standard. And without going into the whole name controversy of the, of the USB standards, in the past five years, we've been dealing mostly with third generation USBs or so-called USB 3.1, which can transfer up to five gigabit per second. And in the past two to three years, we've seen the USB 3.1 second generation, type A and type C, which can transfer uh, up to 10 gigabit per second in a dual channel configuration. Now the 3.2 USB, uh, double that bandwidth again, and can give us in a double channel configuration up to 20 gigabit per second, which is particularly interesting because Intel does not feature uh, 3.2 USB and it does kind of bridge a little bit the gap between USB and Thunderbolt 3 which is usually and typically only available on Intel powered motherboards since Thunderbolt 3 is an Intel uh, uh, patented technology so something AMD has been really eager 
to bridge and which should please a lot of workstation uh, uh, users out there. And finally, the third point I wanted to talk about and which is not really um, attached to the X570 chipset, but which will only be available on X570 powered motherboard is the new 802.11ax Wi-Fi standard, which paradoxically are supplied by Intel themselves to AMD to add on their X570 powered motherboard. Now, in contrast with the so-called 802.11ac standard, the AX almost doubles the bandwidth. We're passing from 1.73 gigabit per second to a whopping 2.65 gigabit per second, which again is quite a jump forward. So these are basically the three main features upgrade that you have to be uh, looking for on the 7th of July. And of course, I'll put on the very top of the list the PCIe 4.0 upgrade, which is quite a, a big deal. But the last point I want to address here is the price of the X570 powered motherboard. You see, like I said in the beginning of this video, AMD is usually a little bit cheaper because they have a little bit less feature contrasted uh, to Intel, but things are changing. Leaked prices and rumors suggest that the X570 powered motherboard will be significantly more expensive than its previous generation X470 powered motherboard. For example, the ROG Crosser 7 from Asus powered by an X470 was about $250 at launch price last year. Its equivalent today, the ROG Crosser 8 uh, Hero, will be about 100 US dollar more expensive at $350 at launch price. And that puts it right in front of Intel uh, equivalent motherboard, the ROG Maximus 11 Hero. It really shows their change of strategies. They're not satisfied anymore in being the trailing second or the second best on the market. They are going head on on Intel in a collision course with Intel as we've never seen before. And their ambition is not only to match, obviously not. Their ambition is to take over swaths of market shares. The only one who really, really benefit from it is us, the users. All right, so you'll also be happy to know that I have started to review uh, a couple of X570 motherboards and I'll try to release those reviews in the next week or two. But already I can tell you, this is really, really awesome.